Hello and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. And today we have two wild turkey whiskies on the cask. We have the wild turkey 101 and the rare breed. Um, yes, let's talk a bit, a bit about wild turkey. Wild turkey is a typical Kentucky straight bourbon distillery. And what is a bit unique about wild turkey is their approach to quality. They are not the typical very cheap spirit, but they go a bit more into the quality side. So um, they're a bit more expensive. You pay a few dollars, pounds, euros more, but you get a bit more as in quality wise. First of all, the ingredients. They use a uh, high rye content. It says here high rye in their mash bill. The rye actually comes from Germany. And they all use all ingredients are non-GMO. So there is no GMO corn in there, no Roundup Ready. And um, that's what they believe in. They believe in, I'm not quite sure if they use all organic, but they believe in more of a natural old style product. Then we have um, their their casks, they are highly charred. So there's a lot of active charcoal in there that can react with the whiskey and take out the, the sharp ingredients or the sharp flavors. And then they store it for six to eight years. So it's a bit older than the usual whiskey that you have on the market. And um, the last thing is they fill their casks with a bit of a less bit of less strength. So you have the whiskey that comes off the stills then you dilute it down and they dilute a bit more down than the other distilleries. And everybody thinks, okay, that makes their whiskey less flavorful. No, because after you've bottled the whiskey, you, or before you bottle the whiskey, you dilute it down to drinking strength. So you dilute it down with fresh water and fresh water, no taste. So all the water that is used to diluting or more water that is used to diluting at Well Turkey will be stored in casks and gain flavor. So they believe in putting the water through the wood before bottling. That's what they say. I think that's their saying about that. And um, so they, they reduce rather before barreling and not after barreling to have more flavor within the water that they're diluting it down with. So they have more flavor within the, the bottle. And that's what we're gonna feel or taste today. All right. I've already filled a bit from the German take. Yes, I did the German take today before the English take. And this is a high rye whiskey, so we're expecting a bit more of a stronger whiskey. Oh yeah, oh yeah, definitely. You have that. Mm. This is a, a typical bottle that you use to embarrass the experts because if you take that bottle and put it into a tasting and someone sits there and you okay there's a lot of rye in there so there's a, a really a good note of rye in there i always associate this rye with a rye bread or a pine a pine forest needle forest and everybody in the blind tasting would say yeah that's a rye and then they would guess into the rye direction, but it's a Kentucky straight bourbon, just with a high rye content. Technically, you could do a, a, what do you call it, a bourbon with 49% rye. You have to have at least 51% corn and a bourbon, the rest can be rye. That would be so much like a rye. Mm. So yeah, it's it has a bit of round, sweet, soft caramel in that. I like this caramel candy combined with that harshness and that intensity from the rye. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow. So 101 proof, 50.5% uh, 50 ABV gives you a really good kick. It's a really intense, strong whiskey, whiskey with rye flavors, with oak flavors, with caramel, with vanilla. And it's at the beginning you think, okay, the rye is overwhelming. 
Mm, now it's actually pretty balanced. So it's it's pretty well balanced between uh, the Kentucky typical Kentucky straight bourbon style flavors, vanilla caramel, and the rye flavors that give you a lot of spiciness. Mm. Wow, this is so intense. I would even recommend it mm, not just as an after dinner drink, but you could actually enjoy that while you have dinner. So um, even if you have a bit of a spicy food, if you have a, a steak that is uh, with a lot of ground, fresh ground pepper or some, I don't know, Asian spicy food, you could still feel the whiskey in your, in your mouth. And it's not so overwhelmingly expensive that you, you'd waste all the flavors to the, the food. So you can enjoy the food together with the whiskey and both would be in about comparison um, in, as an in intensity. If you have a, a low spiced food, the, the whiskey will, will be overwhelming. Hmm. Oh yeah. So, um, oh, oh, mm, no, first, at first when you swallowed, we got the kick from the rye and then here comes the Kentucky straight bourbon flavors. Mm. So yeah, if you like a really intense Kentucky straight bourbon, one, what, the Wild Turkey 101 is the bottle for you because it's it's not that expensive and it's really, really intense in the flavor. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you found this video interesting, then please feel free to give me a thumbs up and see you next time.